So let's switch over to the VBA environment and insert a module and create the module and call it um, set revenue. I'll stick to my own naming conventions of camel case and spell it correctly and tab in. Now what I want to do to get the input from the user is to um, have what's called an input box displayed. An input box is just a little box which the, uh, takes user input. It just takes one piece of information. If you want to have multiple pieces of information, then you um, you need to um, create your own user form. What it's going to do is it's going to take the piece of information and store it somewhere. Now it could store it in a cell. So I could put something like this. I could put range Let's just say um, E1, because it's a cell that's out of the way. So E1.value equals input box bracket. Please enter fee. Now what that is doing, let's make that a little bit wider. What that is doing is it's saying when this line of code is run, display an input box on the screen with the message, please enter fee in it. And if I show you by running it, there you go. That is what an input box looks like. You can't control how many buttons are on there. You can't control the width of the text box. All you can control is this message and the title, if you want a different title rather than Microsoft Excel. And then something that is typed in there and the user clicks OK. And then what will happen is it sticks 100 into E1 because what we're saying is take what the user puts into the input box and that becomes the value of E1. What we then probably do is have formulas in these cells here that just multiply each one of these cells by E1. But that would be too easy. One of the things that you do in programming in VBA is you work a lot with variables. Now a variable is just a way of storing a piece of information in the computer's memory. And the reason that we tend to create variables is that it's a lot faster 